Now that we did all the hard work, which was taking the valves out, the most time consuming work, now I gotta put this back together again. All right, where was the check balls? Let's see. This was one on top, so that was not it. Let's see, where is this one? This one, I want to do one of these two here. Where did the check balls go on here? Do you all remember? Yep, it, the check balls went right here. So, we're going to put these in. Deal with this one first. Ah, uh, ha, 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 where are you? Where are you? Okay, a check ball went here and here. So one. And, oh, fell in the wrong hole. Two. And then a check ball. Went here and here. Oh, yay, yay, yay. One and two. Then we had this spring thing that went right here with this plastic hat. This plastic hat piece that went there. And remember, we had a filter. That filter went right here. All right, this is the plate right here that goes on this part here. All right, so this goes down like this on top. Right now we have this one. Now I'm going to clean this out a bit. This is the solenoid body, really. That's all this is. So let me clean this off a bit. There are no valves in here except for this one, the ratio control motor, and that's going to move. So you don't have to worry about that not moving. Okay, let me clean this off, and then we're going to put this back on. All right, let's put this, whoa. We got to put this on. Let's see how to put this right. Let's see here. We got this here. Turn this upside down. Actually, put these bolts back in here. All right, now, can't forget this filter. I know it went, it went in this spot right here. So where's the hole? Where's the hole? It went down in there and just like that. 
some grease in there to hold this in. See, now, this is going in, but I'm going to do something here. Something I did, didn't, I should have done. Now, if you turn this over, those balls may come out of their spot. You don't want that to happen. So, let me take this off. See, the balls are still there, but the good thing to do, put some grease in there. Vaseline or something. Make sure that filter is still in there. I'm gonna make sure that's there. There's a good chance it won't come out, but you want to make sure. Now lift it. Let it fall back down. Alright, got it. Put this on. That is good. That is good. And then put this one back on. Like that. Yep, just like that. Whew. All right, so that's in. All right, now I got to see where did these those bolts went to line it up, and that's it. All right, if I'm correct and same. I might be. Hmm. We have this bolt here. Yep. This goes here because this is the bolt with the nut, and this one goes here. Lift this up just a little and screw that nut on there. Do the same thing for this one. Looks like that's where that went. Now before tightening these up, you should put the valve body bolts in so they can be centered. The ones that screw through to the valve body. Alright, let's see what we got. These are the bolts here. I think this one went here. That was a smaller one. that one. Where did that go? That is one, but it's a long one. So it would be something like that. Okay. Now, how can you tell which bolts to put in where? You already know which ones go bolt this to the case. But you have some long and short bolts here. The way you find out is when you put in a short one where a long one go, it just falls straight down. Okay. Uh, here's a long one here. 
Oh, are these both same side? Let me see. Where's the here? Okay, that's a short one. Fall straight down and won't hit the threads. That one goes there. Okay, so you just don't want to put them where the case bolts went. And if you put a long one where a short one goes, uh, these are the same size. See, it'll stick up too high. That's how you know. Okay, here's an example. This is a short one. See how high this that's sitting. You see that's sitting very high. Okay. All right. So let's see here. You gotta figure this out where these bolts go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like that. These are here. 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 Here and here. All right. What are we missing here? Okay. That's too short. Along goes there. That's too short. Along goes there. Nothing goes there. Short one goes there. That's too long. Short goes there. It's too long. Short goes there. Long, 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 and what is that long? I'm missing one. I'm missing a boat, folks. Oh, here it goes over here. Long. Alright, so we got all the boats that belong where they belong. So, I guess now we're going to just put this valve body together. So, okay, so now you had a chance to see what you need to do in order to uh, make sure that this transmission shifts properly. You must make sure you take all of those valves out. You got a chance to see what the valves look like and make sure you don't mix the springs up. Make sure you don't mistakenly pick up this when you're trying to pick something up like the rag or whatever you got in it and it rolls a spring in with the other springs and now you don't know what springs go to what okay but you have to do this yes it's time consuming but if you don't want to take that transmission out because of a stuck valve then you're gonna to have to do this or buy a reman valve body